Hello gamers, I'm Mortuary and today we will be playing some uh, Osiris New Dawn. Well, uh, last time we played we noticed that we had to go grab some more materials in order to uh, craft ourselves a shovel and then upgrade to the habitat. So let's head out and try to find some more materials. So this is aluminium. I need plenty of that. Yep, that's all the aluminium from this rock. Let's see. There is more aluminium up here. Yep. Let's grab a lot of that so I don't have to come back every two minutes. What's this? Plutonium? I don't really need any plutonium yet. I need iron, that's for sure. Oh, really, this is getting scary. I need a torch. Oh, wait a second. There is, uh, there is actually a lamp. Let me... I think it was Elki, not quite sure. Let me check. Yeah, at least now I can see something in the dark. Encumbered again. <coughs> I guess it's a good idea to go back to the base and uh, drop all this stuff into the forge. So my base is up there. Oh, in the top left you have uh, an indicator showing you where your base is, so that's also good. Let me... <laughs> Just to be sure, let me keep my, my gun, because I have the impression that soon some <laughs> big worm will be popping up again or something like that. Let me just uh, drop all this stuff into the forge really quick. And then I have some time to go uh, out and gather some more resources. Store in inventory, store in inventory. So what do I have? I have lots of plutonium. Iron and aluminium. The only thing I am missing is magnesium, I believe. Let me check. Iron, magnesium and aluminium. Yeah, I need magnesium. Hmm. I haven't seen any magnesium yet, so... No idea where to find it. Well, I went that direction, that direction. I went a little bit in that direction too, so... Maybe I should head over there. What's that? I, th I thought those were eyes, but no, it's uh, it has nothing to do with that. Still, it's it's. Uh, I like the immersion in this game. It's really, it feels scary. Oh, nice the moon. I quite like the looks of the game. Actually, it looks pretty good, if you ask me. Nice graphics, nice atmosphere. What else would you need? Mm, magnesium. <laughs> yeah, I need uh, definitely need to find magnesium. Or well, I'm afraid to fall off the world because I have no idea how big uh, this world is. But this cliff looks steep. Well, uh, let me try to find some magnesium and I will get back to you guys once I have something interesting to show you or uh, to talk about. Well... Uh, <laughs> A little update again. Don't ask me how I've done it, but uh, yeah, I'm stuck. There is no way I can get out of here. My little companion was in here and uh, he wasn't following me anymore, so I thought why not go in and make him follow me. Sadly, that didn't work. Um, the only thing I could try to do is press H and make him patrol maybe up there. No, that didn't work. Uh, H. Let's see. Will he be moving? Nah, not at all. Hmm. 
I can't really do anything, so I think I'll have to destroy myself, actually. Uh, how do I do that? The only way I can fix this is probably first kill, so I respawn at my base and then I can try to come back and collect my stuff. Yeah, my corpse is somewhere up here. But I'm pretty sure that I won't be able to get it. Oh, my droid is there, so that's good. Let's try to land behind him. Yep. Chief of follow. Now, if I could get him out, that would be nice. Hmm. I don't think I can. No, nothing. And it's raining. At least I have all my stuff back, so... Oh, and I can still get out, that's good. Let's see, can I let... Oh, no. No, I'm stuck up here. <sighs> Darn game. Luckily, it's still early access. So let me respawn again and <laughs> do the same thing all over again. Well, I'm not gonna go back in there. I already had to kill myself three times, so I ha will be avoiding this area. Which means, well, uh, I probably have lost my Osiris mission personal assistant. Yeah, I think I lost my Oompa. I will have to live with that. The search for magnesium will continue without the help of my little drone friend. So let's see if we can find some magnesium anywhere. Look what I found. I found hydrogen, carbon and gold. Still no magnesium though, so let me continue my search and I hope I will be able to find some. I don't want to run all too far from my base and I'm already, yeah, far away. Now what I have also discovered is that the map allows you to cycle between some targets. Like for example, now it's aiming for my dead body, which is up there, about uh, 200 meters away. Okay, if you press the left mouse button, you can change... Uh, what it's tracking like for example now it's showing in the uh, top left corner my spawn position and now it's sh showing my dead body so yeah that's interesting i think later on because i have tried that i think later on you will be able to add your own markers but i'm not quite sure so we will see that probably later on oh god i hear something again the worm the worm where is he i can't oh there he is yeah, I'm dead again. Oh, this isn't easy, actually. <sighs> well, another trip back to my body, I guess. Well, I'm back at the crater and my body is on the other side of the crater, but I have the impression that once you hit the crater, you enter the crater, that uh, the creature, the, the worm creature will spawn. So I will have to keep, keep my eye out for that let's see maybe i can run around the crater I'm, I'm not quite sure actually so i will have to check that the denier crater yeah and of course there is magnesium all around this cra this crater uh, not good and there is a little creature up there too. There's actually two creatures up here. I should be approaching my body soon though, so that, that's a good thing. Once I have my body, I can start shoot stuff again. Or, uh, if you know me, once I have my body, <laughs> I can start dying again. 20 meters. Okay. 15 meters. It should be up here somewhere. Oh yeah, there. A deceased scientist. Nice. I don't want to get too close. Take all. Yeah, escape. Run, run, run. And... 
get my gun out, my assault rifle. Oh, I really don't want to die here. At least not again. Now that I have found the magnesium, I should try to uh, get out of the area pretty fast. Let me uh, just get to the magnesium and grab some and then I will probably be heading back to base to build a few things and uh, yeah, hopefully I won't be dying again. The magnesium is right here but there is a big creature there too. Let me see if I can get with my gun. Oh yeah, I can. Oh, I should have picked the other gun. Yeah, I got it. Nice. Big crab. No, not that. Let's quickly grab the magnesium and get out of here, actually, because <laughs> it's pretty dangerous here. But while I'm here, I can grab all the magnesium I can carry. Then I don't have to come back all that soon again. At least I know where the magnesium is now, so that's also good. Let me see what I can carry and then we will be heading back to base. Okay, I have all the magnesium I can carry. So let's try to get out of here. Something I have discovered, let me show you. I'm now uh, jumping and moving forward and I'm going pretty fast, but once you have drawn a weapon or a, for example your chisel or, or whatever, it isn't going all that fast anymore. Look, this is with the chisel out and if you press E you will put the chisel away and then this is the speed you have. So it's a lot faster if you just put your gear away. At least I got out of the crater, so that's nice to... Let me go back to base and uh, I think I will be crafting the shovel next. And well, I think that's about all we will be doing for today. And we can continue uh, with our adventures the next time. But I think we've been busy for quite a while now. So it's about time to wrap up today's episode. Let me check uh, the forge. What do I need? Uh, I need three steel and aluminium. So aluminium... Shift click moves everything from one inventory to the other. So I need iron as well, some iron. There we go. I need three steel plates. Hmm. Did I get one? I don't see my steel plates or does it craft in here? Oh yeah. That's strange. You have to put your stuff in your inventory, but it crafts inside here. Well, at least I have a shovel now, so that's good. Let's see. What else do I need? Uh, structures. They wanted to build me a habitat, so I need 15 steel. Can I make 15 steel? I hope so. How many do I have? I have four. And I have two. There's six. Yep. Seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh no, I don't have anymore. Yeah. The steel plates are in here. 11. Yeah, okay. 12, 13, 14, 15. Structures. So I have 15 steel plates normally. Yeah, I have 15 steel plates. I need some glass, aluminium and copper. I don't have any copper yet, so we will have to do that next time. Well, I guess uh, it's time to wrap up today's episode right here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly did. It's a nice game. It looks good. I like it so far. It's indeed a little bit what I had expected from No Man's Sky. Um, I hope you liked it too. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video. Now, if you'd rather get in touch with me personally, you can do that through the different social media channels and you will find links to all those in the description of this video as well.
Of course, as always, there is one more thing you can do to help me out, and that's hit the subscribe button. Not only will you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. Well, uh, that will wrap up today's uh, episode. Until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.